Sebastian has been uh, with Segal for four years. He has previously been involved in technical support. After that, he moved into our data management uh, product and services group in our UK team. And currently, he is the product manager for our commercial Python tool, uh, Python products. And now I will transfer the presentation over to you, Sebastian. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Ode. So let me just find the correct screen. Okay. Um, yeah, welcome, everyone. Um, yeah, as Ode so kindly introduced, my name is Sebastian Grebe. I'm the product manager for Python 2.4 which I'll now happily present to you for the next 25 to 30 minutes. Um, so, um, yeah, we're very proud to present to you SIGAR's newest uh, data science enabling product, Blueback Python to Pro, which fully connects the world of P12 with the world of Python. So, as you have the subsurface teams with geologists and geophysicists and reservoir engineers, which are very proficient in the use of desktop applications with a graphical user interface, where they can interpret seismic horizons and create 3D subsurface models. And as has been uh, mentioned, we are looking into connecting these groups with data professionals. So you have the data scientist, um, which don't have much experience um, with Petrol or other um, GNG applications, but they are experts in machine learning, neural networks, and command line based coding. Um, they can use uh, Python libraries which enable highly customized data operations and almost unlimited visualization options. Um, but between these two groups, there's not much uh, overlap. And what uh, Blueback Python Tool Pro does, it uh, enables communication between subsurface teams and data scientists and allows you to expose your Petrol data to the complete data science lifecycle. Segal's target with this and future products is to enable more data science against Petrol. Our goal is to position ourselves as a leading enabler of data science against Petrol and other GNG environments. We want to create and enable data science environments that are optimized for GNG by facilitating data flow, tooling, and visualizations around legacy applications and data. In doing this, we will remain agnostic, allowing you to decide which data science distribution fits best to your needs. And we will focus on an enabling role rather than an algorithmic role, enabling you to, do, to apply the latest state-of-the-art data science techniques. Blueback Pine Tool Pro is the next step on this journey. We will continue to expand our offerings that enable clients to leverage more value from the legacy data in the preferred data science environment. Pine Tool Pro has been designed to take this data science experience in against Petrol one step further. So it allows users to connect into Petrol and access Petrol data easily and efficiently from an external Python installation on platforms like Anaconda to enable the full IDE experience. It now becomes possible to use any Python libraries without risking conflicts on Petrol dependencies. And Python Pro enables users to leverage their preferred machine learning algorithms, neural networks, research code, and data science workflows against their Petrol data. Python has been around for about 30 years, and it's highly uh, adopted in the data science community. But it's, it is only in relatively recent years that the subsurface community has started to realize the potential Python has for allowing geosciences to break out from traditional application silos and express their creativity with immediate effect. Most Python libraries are open source and available in small packages to be downloaded directly by the user into their Python environment. But in conventional subsurface desktop deployments, users often do not have the permissions to add functionalities and download Python libraries. The data science environments are often hosted on centralized solutions or are completely web-based. 
Python to the Core enables the users to establish a secure connection to get the 12 data into their data science environment and take full advantage of a wide range of Python algorithms, enabling them to use machine learning functionalities and then send the results safely back to their patrol project. So this allows you to enhance your data management and geoscience workflows against your patrol data. Blueback Python to Pro supports a range of patrol domain objects, namely well, well logs, well surveys, and perforations, discrete and continuous global well logs, 3D model grids, and discrete and continuous model properties, 2D and 3D side make and horizon interpretation attributes, surfaces and surface attributes, point sets and their attributes, polyline sets and wavelets. And we are planning to incorporate more and more data, data types going forward. So this evolution of having Python to Pro in an external Python IDE provides many benefits, opening up the communication between patrol users and data scientists through the utilization of user-friendly and powerful Jupyter notebooks against patrol domain objects, updating patrol objects live or in running scripts for immediate data visualization and QC. Python scripts or research code can be elevated and contextualized with markdown scripts and narrative text, documentation, or images. So this will make it a lot easier for others to understand your Python code when sharing your work with colleagues and partners. You can now take full advantage of powerful visualizations from Python libraries such as Matplotlib, and you can use state-of-the-art machine learning libraries as TensorFlow. Python to Pro allows full collaboration between Python coders used to command line interaction and subsurface team members used to desktop applications with a graphical user interface. So you can write full GUI applications hiding complex code from the users. Uh, small Python applications can be developed by specialized teams and then be distributed behind a user interface to a wider audience who can now run advanced data science algorithms without having to learn the details of Python coding, thus removing the entry barrier for less Python enabled users. Finally, external, uh, external Python clients can use cloud services, other APIs, databases, and other data sources to incorporate more data and resources into your environment and analysis. So as you can see, there are many benefits to the evolution of this technology. And with this, I just want to jump straight into a short demo of Blueback Python Pro to show you the functionality and abilities it gives you to expose your virtual data to very advanced data science workflows. So let me open uh, my Jupyter notebook. So what we have here is we have an open P12 project uh, in which we are going to connect, and we have Python to Pro um, installed on the same machine. And I'm going to run this uh, on my local machine using a Jupyter notebook to write my Python code snippets. So I'll just give a very brief introduction on how you can connect into P12, retrieve data, and then use external Python libraries for visualization and manipulation of data. Um, I will then show you one of the newly supported domain objects of the latest Pandal Pro release. Um, and in this workflow, we will be using a wavelet and an acoustic impedance rail log to create a synthetic seismic, which we can then send uh, back to P12 to use um, further work in our um, GNG application. So first off, I will import a few additional uh, Python libraries. Uh, these libraries are not strictly necessary to run Python Pro, but it will enhance our workflow and experience in the Python world. Um, and they will allow us to use more visualization op options and create a cleaner Jupyter notebook. Um, we will connect into our uh, open Petrol project. And, uh, excuse me, I'll just need to correct the port number. So on the Petrol side, there's a small gRPC server um, wanting to establish their connection. And it's gonna run on this port number. So I just need to make sure to connect to the right port number. And 
Uh, apologies for this. Six four uh, two one nine. Six four two one nine. Okay, so we are authenticating our, um, our license. So as we can see, uh, we are co now connected into our um, Open Patrol instance, and then can start working uh, with Pine Repo and uh, retrieving data. Um, one advantage of having a uh, Python to pull in an external Python IDE is you can access the API help directly from your Jupyter notebook or your Python code. Um, so we can either print uh, the help uh, for each uh, method or class uh, we are working on, as demonstrated here, or we can make use of doc strings to get more information about a specific class. So by hitting Shift and Tab, um, we can see information about the method or class you're currently working on. So in this case, we can see how to access wells um, from Python Pro and retrieve them from p into our Python environment. Or if we assigned a Python variable, we can use IntelliSense um, to see what methods uh, and functions are available at each point of writing your code. So this makes it a lot easier to start your journey into the Python world and keep an overview of your code and its purpose. So let's start with uh, retrieving some data. So as I mentioned before, you have a variety of um, data objects supported. Um, so for example, we can choose the grid properties um, as our data type. And then in the drop-down menu, we can see all the model properties we have in our um, P12 project. Or we can select a 3D seismic. And again, in our drop-down menu, we can see the same seismic cubes which we have in our P12 project. So let's select one of the, the cubes, um, just with this one. And once we retrieve the cube, we can then um, access a small chunk uh, of this cube and then visualize it within our Jupyter notebook. So here we have now our seismic completely outside of the 12 visualized in our Python environment. So this was a very quick introduction to Python repo, how you can connect into p retrieve data and visualize it in your Python IDE. Um, but obviously we want to not only do some uh, nice visualizations, we want to work with data. So let's go to the um, following step. So um, what we're going to do now is uh, we're following a workflow with one of the newly supported domain objects, uh, which will be uh, working with wavelets. Um, so we're going to use a wavelet from our uh, P12 project to create a synthetic seismic. Um, and then we will send those results back to P12. So first off, we will uh, print a list of um, uh, wavelets we have in our Petrol project. So you can see all these different wavelets are available um, to work in our Pine repo. We will then uh, create some Pine variables and load the data into a Pandas data frame um, to work with. Uh, once we've done that, we can then display our wavelets in our Jupyter notebook um, for QC, for visualization options, um, to make sure we have the raw data um, for our workflow in the data science environment. For this uh, workflow, we will just pick one of the wavelets. So just uh, we're gonna start with a simple uh, wicker wavelet. We're then gonna select a well for which we want to create the synthetic seismic. Um, and then we are going to retrieve some well logs and load those logs into a pandas data frame. So now you can see we have the VP, VS, density, and AI log. Um, for this specific workflow, we will only need to use an acoustic impedance log. So we are going to do that and calculate the reflection coefficient and then convert the AI and RC log into the time domain. And then Use the wicker wavelet we retrieved 
from P12, anti AI log converted to the time domain, run a convolution, and create a synthetic seismic, which we can then display next to our AI log to see what the results are and um, uh, what we are doing here. So, as I've shown before, and as you can see in our P12 inventory, we have uh, multiple wavelets. So we are going to run uh, this workflow with uh, multiple wavelets um, and run the convolution on all, all that to see what the difference are between the different uh, wavelets. Once we have done th that, we can then display our AI log and the different uh, resulting synthetic uh, seismic from our um, various wavelets um, we have in our P12 project. Uh, we can then easily send the results back to P12. So let me just change the window size here. And open up. So what we're first going to do is we are going to create a clone of um, a well log. And in our P12 input tree, we can see it is initially empty. And then we can simply send the results back to P12. So we need to change a bit of the uh, color table in P12. But basically, um, what we could see here now, we would treat an AI log, AI log and a, a, a wavelet from P12 into our Python environment, did some calculations, and then sends the results back to P12. Now, this methodology in this example uh, to calculate uh, uh, a, a synthetic from the AI log in a wavelet is a very simplistic algorithm. But of course, you can enhance this and use more complex algorithms to get better results. But what I hope I could illustrate is the power of using Python repo in an external ID to retrieve the data from your P12 projects, combine different data objects for calculations in your workflows, and then be able to visualize the results in your Jupyter notebook or in your Python environment before sending them back to P12. So for the next part of the demo, uh, with Python repo in hybrid environments, I will close down P12 on my local machine. And we're going to run uh, Python to Pro in a um, data science environment. So um, Espen has already uh, mentioned the Segal Hub and Segal Innovation Space. And what I'm going to show you now is how we are going to use these technologies to enable you to deploy Python to Pro in a hybrid environment. So, for example, running P12 on your local machine and running Pinder Pro in a cloud based data center environment. You will see how you can connect into a third party database in Azure. In this scenario, I will connect to a Blueback Project Tracker database, but it could be any different data source you want to retrieve data from. What this means is that the user will be able to run P12 in headless mode using the command line prompt or the Python scripts to start a new P12 instance, load, close, and save P12 projects. You will be able to have programmatically access to P12 and the P12 data, effectively treating P12 as a new data source. So I've demonstrated one in Python repo locally with P12 and Jupyter having a one-to-one -one relationship. Uh, but as mentioned, uh, in the data science environment is often on a separate machine. It can be either on a local VM or in a cluster. So how do we communicate from the, uh, from the central IDE to your local machines? So we will be using a new Sigal technology called Sigal Hub to facilitate the cross-network deployment of Pine Pro. It is a lightweight piece of technology that connects data and applications securely in real time. It can be deployed as a self-contained piece of software locally on the user's desktop, Equally, it can be deployed across distributed environments, such as an on-premise network, Ash and VM. Or it might be in a hybrid environment in a multi-user scenario, where you have users in multiple offices, 
or virtual instances running in a data center. In your data science environment, running a Jupyter Hub in the public cloud. Segal Hub is built to support Segal software such as Python to Power and Invest Data Next by allowing flexible deployment scenarios and scalable workloads. However, Segal Hub supports the development of additional connectors built by Segal and its partner. So I'm going to run this uh, part of this presentation in the Segal Innovation Space, uh, which is a cloud-based data science environment running on Azure on a Linux operating system. Uh, Blueback Python to Pro is not dependent on a Segal Innovation Space. You can run it in any constellation you want, but it serves as an example for a cloud-based data science environment. So you can deploy Blueback Python to Pro in any scenario, giving you maximum flexibility. So let's have a look at Blueback Python to Pro in this hybrid environment. So I'm just gonna end the slides again and go back to my uh, browser window here. So, so here we have um, Jupyter Lab running in Segal's innovation space solution deployed on Azure. So we can see from the address bar that it is hosted on a website in a Segal geo tenant. From our cloud-based data science environment, we will use Segal Hub to connect programmatically to multiple virtual projects on my local machine to read and write data between the projects. So this workflow is designed to illustrate the connectivity that Segal Hub can enable between data science environments and P12 deployed across hybrid environments. So first off, we are gonna start um, Segal Hub. Um, and the Segal Hub client uh, manages the communication between our data science environment in Azure and Petrol on my local machine. Um, so we are going to start up a new instance uh, of Petrol. So locally, we are communicating with a Segal Hub agent, which enables the programmatic access to Petrol. So checking our Segal Hub agent, we can now watch Petrol being initialized and starting up in the background. While Petrol is starting up, we are going to connect into a, a Blueback Project Tracker database, which is also hosted in Azure. Um, so the Project Tracker is a solution for P12 data management, and it records metadata about P12 project and data to enable data management around P12. So we are not going to uh, dig too deep into the Tracker here, but one capability Tracker has is to highlight where there are data in different P12 projects with the same GUID but with different data content. So um, in this example, uh, we can see a listing of virtual projects which have been identified as having uh, the same data object in them, but the data content between the project is different. Um, so knowing that we can analyze the project data from our pilot environment on Azure, and use Segal Hub to facilitate a correction of data into the local project. So we can see Segal 1 and Segal 2 both have a VS log with the same GUID string, but with a different hash code. Uh, so that means uh, that the data content between those uh, logs is different. So knowing this, we now have programmatically access to both of these local P12 projects from Azure via Segal Hub and take corrective action. So just to recap uh, this, uh, we are running Pine to Pro in a cloud-based data science environment. We connected to an external database hosted on a separate Azure tenant. And now we are going to use Segal Hub to enable Pine to Pro programmatically access to multiple projects and correct data. So um, I'm going to load up uh, my first project, which is going to be loaded in the background. So we can see in, in my uh, Segal Hub agent how the first project is being made, um, uh, uh, made available programmatically. Uh, and once we have a connection, we can see here it is connected to Segal 1.bat. 
uh, once we have the connection, we can then retrieve the VS log directly from the local project and you see it here in our uh, Jupyter lab. Once we, we, once we retrieve the first log, we can then access uh, the second project. Um, again, it's going to load up in the background and uh, retrieve data from our second project for comparison um, in our Jupyter Lab environment. Um, so this access to these uh, local pit trial instances all happens in the background and the connection from Python Pro in our data science environment to my local pit trial instance works seamlessly thanks to the Gala Hub. So now that we have uh, retrieved the second uh, log, we can visualize it in our Jupyter uh, lab environment to see any differences between those two, two logs. Um, and once we identified what's wrong with that, we can then uh, push any correction back to the local project. For this, we will uh, keep the connection to project two active and send data from our first project, which we still have as data frame available in Python Pro in our data science environment. So this will then override the incorrect data in project two. Um, we can then retrieve the corrected log um, from project two and visualize it against our uh, VF log in project one. So we can see the log now has a corrected data range. So this workflow has been a relatively simple use case around programmatic correction of well data and multiple uh, projects. But the takeaway I want you to, to get from this is that this hybrid access to local petrol instances from Pine Environment on Azure is made possible by the Gala. It highlighted the programmatic access to petrol using the data management workflow. But of course, you can facilitate more GNG focused uh, analysis and workflows across multiple projects and any deployment scenario. So with that, it concludes the demo of uh, Blueback Pine Tool Pro. Um, but hopefully I've, go, I've illustrated the benefits that Pine Tool Pro brings to enabling more data science against P12 and how you can deploy it in a hybrid environment via Segal Hub. Importantly, uh, I wanted to show you how enabling the utilization of user-friendly and powerful Jupyter notebooks against Petrol domain objects makes it easy to, to work with the data. Um, the ease of connection uh, into Petrol and the immediate access to Petrol data for use in your desired data science workflows and algorithms. The live link to Petrol objects when running scripts for immediate data visualization and QC. And the new capability enabled by the Gala Hub to access single or multiple petrol projects programmatically across local networks or distributed hybrid environments. So now I just wanted to briefly um, talk about our future plans for uh, Blueback Python to Pro. So in the uh, upcoming release in a couple of weeks, we are going to enable you to access P12 workflows and P12 workflow variables, enhancing your experience using these workflows by combining them with data and calculations from your data science environment using machine learning uh, algorithms and neural networks. For version 2.0 of Pinter Pro, it will be possible to deploy Pine Pro across networks enabled by Signal Hub. This will allow the users to run the Python scripts remotely, for example, in a Jupyter Hub while running P12 on a local workstation or in a cloud computer. It will be possible to execute P12 in headless mode, which allows programmatically access to data from multiple P12 projects. Um, like all of our Segal uh, software products, uh, Blueback Pine Tool Pro is very much user driven. Um, so we want your feedback and input. If there are any domain objects or functionalities you would like to see, please reach out to us and we'll do our best to incorporate them as uh, fast as possible. 
With that, thank you very much for your uh, attention. And we will now answer any questions you have um, posted into the chat window. All right, Sebastian, thank you very much for a good presentation. And <clears throat> I see we have one question in the chat window from David Vetta. Uh, Neil answered already, but maybe you have uh, additional information. So I'll just read, up, uh, read out the question here. Twice I have seen the slide with seismic 3D tubes in Petrel. I want to do the same thing with 3D grid model data. Is there good existing shareable script examples for combining the chunks into n dimensional, meaning multi property numpy array? Um, okay, so yeah, you can um, retrieve. Um, 3D model uh, properties uh, from Pitwell, and all the data you retrieve um, from Pitwell into your Python environment are stored as a NumPy array. So you can work with different chunks um, of your grid properties to um, do any workflows in your Python environment. Um, we have some simple examples uh, which currently are together with the installation files, but we are gonna um, get more examples up on our GitHub page soon. 